We're asked to write the fractions in lowest terms. The directions may also say simplify the fractions. A fraction is written in lowest terms or simplified when the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one. And we'll show how to write these fractions in lowest terms using prime factors as well as division. So beginning with 60 80 fourths, we begin by determining the prime factorization of 60 and 84. Well, 60 is equal to 6 times 10, 6 equals 2 times 3, which are both prime, 10 equals 2 times 5, which are both prime. So the prime factorization of 60 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, and we should write the prime factorization in order from least to greatest. Now for 84, because it's even, we know it would be 2 times 42, 2 is prime, 42 is still even, 2 times 21, 2 is prime, 21 equals 3 times 7, both are prime. So the prime factorization of 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. The nice thing about the prime factorization method is that once we have the prime factors, we can see all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Notice how there are two twos in common as well as a three in common. And because two over two is equal to two halves or two divided by two, which equals one, we can simplify two over two as one over one here as well as here. And because three thirds or three divided by three is equal to one, three over three simplifies to one over one. And now if we look at the remaining factors, notice how the numerator would be one times one times one times five, which is five, and the denominator is seven. So 60 80 fourths in lowest terms equals five sevenths. Now let's do this again using the division method. Beginning with the original fraction again, we identify common factors between 60 and 84, and then we divide the numerator and denominator by that common factor. So because they're both even, let's begin by dividing the numerator and denominator by two. And we keep doing this until the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one. 60 divided by two is equal to 30. 84 divided by two is equal to 42. And let's say from here we recognize there's a common factor of six between 30 and 42. So we divide the numerator by six and the denominator by six. Well, 30 divided by six equals five. 42 divided by six equals seven. And once again, we have the same fraction in lowest terms. So the division method is also nice because it tends to be quicker as long as we can identify the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Let's look at a second example. Here we have 120 over 135 using prime factors. We determine the prime factorization of 120 and 135. For 120, let's begin with 12 times 10. 12 is equal to four times three, three is prime. Four is equal to two times two, both are prime. And 10 equals two times five. So the prime factorization of 120 would contain three factors of two, a factor of three, and a factor of five. 135 ends in five, so it has to be five times some value. 135 is equal to five times 27. Five is prime. 27 is equal to nine times three, three is prime, and nine is equal to three times three. So the prime factorization of 135 contains three factors of three and a factor of five. Now we can see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. They have a three in common and a five in common. Because three over three is equal to three thirds of three divided by three, which equals one, three over three simplifies to one over one, and so does five over five. So notice now we have two times two times two, which is eight, over three times three, which equals nine. So the given fraction in lowest terms equals eight ninths. Okay, let's go ahead and show this again using the method of division. Of course, when you're doing your homework, you wanna select the method that works best for you. So starting with 120 over 135, Let's say we recognize because 120 ends in a zero, 135 ends in a five, we recognize a common factor of five, so we divide the numerator by five and the denominator by five. 
120 divided by 5 is equal to 24. 135 divided by 5 equals 27. And then from here, let's say we recognize there's a common factor of 3 between 24 and 27. So we divide the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. So of course we get the same result. So again, both methods have their benefits as well as their challenges. Determining the prime factorization does take some work, but we do see all the common factors and verify the fraction is in lowest terms. The division method tends to be a little bit quicker as long as we can determine the common factors between the numerator and denominator. I hope you found this helpful.